So, I was like, I don't even feel like doing a wine review today. I just want to drink some wine and not even review, but here I am. I changed my mind. I'm going to push forward. And I opened this grape wagon last night. This is one of the ones that I got from Food Lion on Manager Special, 325. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon. And um, it wasn't bad last night so i'm gonna do it again today see if it gives me any different um taste by the way i'm tanya me t with wine that ash where i come on and do wine reviews wine tastings food pairings cigar tastings cigar and wine pairings all things food and wine and cigars and a little bit of lifestyle just a little bit i'm not a true vlogger um, although I'm learning, so it's fun, and I'm enjoying incorporating wine, cigars into my regular everyday life, or not everyday life, but into my life. Did I just spill wine? Y'all, I did. I was swirling that one a little too much. Um, so, good thing I'm right here at the kitchen oh. counter, right? So, um, yeah, that's who I am. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I am trying to grow my channel. My small goal is to get to 500. Wink, wink. Um, and then my big goal is, you know, what if I can get to 1,000 by the end of the year? It's almost August. But I know people have done it before, so let's see. All right, so <clears throat> here's the wine. And here's the bottle again. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon. Grape Wagon, 13.5% alcohol by volume, uh, 2019 California wine. Uh, very simple label. I think it's just very simplistic. I like that. And um, let's get into this wine. I'm actually cooking some um, barbecue chicken in the oven right now. So this is going to be different to have the poultry and the red wine because I do like to drink blushes, rosés, and white wines when I eat chicken. But the past couple of times I've had red wine and guess what? It tastes just as good. It does taste better with the lighter wines. But here we go. All right. I'm getting blackberry. Uh, that's not nutmeg. Some black pepper also. I'm getting some kind of spice. Maybe cardamom. Some kind of baked spice. Baked spices. It's really it's really pretty deep 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 red color. Medium body. I love the dryness. And it gives you that, like, you know how some things, you, sometimes you drink wines that are so dry, they like make your mouth water. This is doing that. Can y'all tell I like black shirts? I love a black shirt. I'm tasting plums. Definitely getting some blackberries. Something is making my mouth a little like tingly, numb type situation. I don't know if that's like a pepper or if it's that baked spice, like that cardamom, because I think cardamom does that. I think it does. You know what? Let's try something. Let me try something. Let's see. Oh, you know what? It might be cloves that I'm tasting. It might be cloves. Let's try something. 
I don't smell cloves in the wine. It's cardamom. That's what I'm smelling. Like, because it smells like pepper also. Now, let's see something. I put a little bit in my hand. Mm, okay, so I've never had plain cardamom. I'm still here. Peekaboo. Um, never had plain cardamom before. But what I can tell you that just happened, the tip of my tongue just got kind of numb, tingly. Like, you know how when you put on a Band-Aid and you put it on too tight and it, you, it gets that tingly sensation, then it numbs? That's what the tip of my tongue feels, feels, is like. And I got that from the wine. That was fun. And that was pretty doggone cool. So yeah, it's definitely not the cloves because cloves, you could, I should have known it wasn't cloves because they are very strong in aroma. Aroma. Um, ooh, and it's on my lip right here. Got a little tingly ting, ting. Lots and lots of plum and blackberry. Tons of plum and blackberry. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. Go cardamom, okay. No, go me for recognizing that I was recognizing cardamom. Picking up a little cardamom. Um, let's see, anything else? Um... I think that's all I have for today. Um, yeah, cause I'm gonna do, I'm gonna probably crack, end up cracking up, cracking open another bottle this weekend and I'll probably end up doing a cocktail cause my husband has been sending me Instagram um, videos with wine cocktails. One of them had tequila in it. I think one of them had whiskey, I think. No, that might have been one that I saw. But he sent me a, a few, actually. He te texted me one, texted me a picture of one that has Prosecco. And the Prosecco and tequila, I think. That's why I picked up the Prosecco the other day. I thought he was going to make the make the cocktail, child. Honey, he ain't do it. He was waiting for me to do it. I ain't know. So I do have plenty of fresh strawberries. And so I'm going to make that drink. I might make that Friday. Yes, Friday because new shows come back on. Uh, I think the Bell Collective comes on Friday and I believe Ready to Love new season comes on Friday. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do and make those cocktails while we sit outside and watch our shows. Mm-hmm. I might do some um, tacos or like fajitas or something so we can chill and have cocktails and laugh at them crazy people on TV. Mm, I know. So y'all know we're doing updates, renovations. If you look at some of my older videos, you'll see that the kitchen looks totally different than last year this time. Kitchen looks totally different. And um, I'm super, super excited because the kitchen is becoming everything I want it to be. Um, got a new clock for my hallway. I'll share that with you guys. Hold on. This is my clock for my hall. And it came with two of these these little starbursts. So I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with the starbursts yet because I don't think that they'll fit in the space where the clock is gonna go. I can't wait to put it up. I'll show you guys once I put it up. Um, I think that is it. I think that's all I got for y'all. But yes, so if you can find Grape Wagon in a store near you, I think it's a pretty good wine. And you know what, let me see it says. Oh, it's you know what i wanted to say this but i did not because i was like no i don't think i am they're saying that it's full body with texture but it's kind of medium to me i thought i was smelling vanilla but was like no nah, no way i'm smelling vanilla it says it right here oh lord child these ass honey 
Aromas of baking spice, black plum, I just said regular plum, give way to flavors of dark berries, that's why I said blackberries, vanilla and chocolate, full body with te texture and layers. I hate when they put the stickers over the, um, the back because you can't see and see now I can't even see. Layers of something. So if you can find it online, um, you'll be able to see hopefully the back of it, but it says layers of something. I don't know. And then I know it says some, 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 dot, dot, dot. Red pasta and hard cheese. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for joining me on another Wine Wednesday. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Hello, happy people on this happy Thursday. Happy hot people if you're outside like me. I just wanted to come out for a quick moment because I, I got this fan blowing on me, so I'm gonna try to light this cigar. I wanted to um, check out a cigar with this um, the fan. Hold on. I want to try the cigar with that um, great wax. Ooh, I like this. So this is the um, Perla, Del, Perla Del Mar Shade. And I wanted to try it with this cap to see if I like it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. Ooh, that was a heavy pour. But it's all right. You heard? It's all right. Holla back. Um, Okay, so try to do a little quick little swirly swirly swirl. This cigar is really earthy. Um, J.C. Newman Cigar Company, Ooh, established 18, 1895. Yep, it's the Perla Del Mar shade. Here is the sleeve that it came in. It's really earthy and kind of mild. It's not super, it's not real bold. Tell you what though, it's bringing out more of the um, berry flavor in my wine. It's definitely doing that. interesting because I don't know if you can see the bottom of it but the bottom is flat I like that that's different I never had one that was completely flat on the bottom and all I did was um, I used my poker and I just poked the hole in the bottom Instead of clipping it, I just did that. Hmm, it's not too bad, not too bad. Doesn't really have any distinct flavors. Just that earthiness. Yeah. 
a little peppery but not much but i do like the way it brings out more of the berry this cab and for this to have been on the manager special for 325 i need to check out the original price if i can find it i'll put it on the screen but this is a really fruity wine it's really fruity and it's it's not bad oh y'all i had one of the popsicles ooh, ooh, it was good ooh, 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 ooh. now i'm gonna tell you one thing i did one of the um stems off of the mint leaf i thought i had gotten all the stems off and i hadn't i'm like why does my throat feel like <clears throat> like i <clears throat> gotta keep clearing my throat girl listen one of the stems off the mint leaf was about this long girl it got lodged in my throat girl honey i was like oh, this is bad and it eventually came up but um next time i make them um i'm actually gonna make some virgin sangria popsicles um i might try to do that saturday excuse me but I will make sure to cut all stems off and just have leaves. And I also think I'm gonna chop the leaves up smaller um, so that I'm not like chewing a whole mint leaf. But all in all, they good, really good. And when I took it out of the container, you could smell the pear, you could smell the rosé, you could smell everything in it except for the lemon. You couldn't smell the lemon and you really couldn't taste a, a lot of the lemon either but you got that lime vodka you could taste that it had just the right amount of sweetness from the fruit really really good but would i get this cigar again i'm not sure yet i do like it with the cab but i can't say that it's one that I would immediately just like go to pick up next project painting the door because the door was black we're going with white so they can match all the trim that's outside but um this is the Perla Del Mar this has been me T on this hot stimmy Thursday show you one more time Perla Del Mar shade Cabernet Sauvignon grape wagon again this is 13.5 percent alcohol by volume really really tasty Ooh, what was that hold on can't let you go yet i just got something it was kind of perfumey that had like a i don't like that it was like perfumey and white pepper. Have y'all used white pepper to cook? White pepper has a really interesting flavor. And right here, I'm getting like a heavy perfume and white pepper. I don't care for that perfuminess. I would prefer the earth earthiness that I was getting earlier. I'll be talking to you soon, my dear, dear, lovely people. I'll talk to y'all later. All right, bye, girl.